I'm gonna be showing you guys if you can edit like laser dim. His videos have been going absolutely crazy and they're super unique. Also done by No So Code, so go follow him down below. But pulled up inside of the Premiere Pro timeline here, we have a bunch of different effects here that we're gonna be breaking down. So make sure you guys stay to the very end of the video. And just before we hop into this, if you guys are looking for some easy to use drag and drop editing packs, my website has got you covered. There are tons of stuff on there that are super simple to use and so fire. So make sure you guys go check that out as well. So starting off inside of Premiere Pro here, we're gonna be covering this background effect right here, which looks really cool when you play it through, but it's super simple to do. So we're gonna be recreating it on this clip right here. And to do this effect, we're gonna have to open it up inside of After Effects. So we're gonna click on the clip, right click, and we're gonna hit replace with After Effects composition. And then After Effects is just gonna open up super quick. All right, now that we are opened up inside of After Effects, we're gonna first start off by rotoscoping him. So I just want this clip right here. I'm gonna press Command Shift D, which is gonna cut the clip. I'm gonna click on this one and delete it. And then we're gonna move this bar over here just so it focuses on this one clip right here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on it right here, press Control D to duplicate it. We're gonna turn off the background one and then we're gonna double click on the top one and we're gonna go up to our roto brush right here and we're gonna rotoscope them out. If you guys don't know how to rotoscope, which I'm assuming you do know how to do it, I'm just gonna skip this step, but I have a ton of tutorials on that if you don't know how. All right, we have our super quick rotoscope now. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit freeze and boom, we are set guys. If we go back into our composition here, you can see he's cut out from the background. It's not the greatest job. I recommend you guys play around with the feather and the shift edge, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna make it super quick like this. Now we're gonna go back inside of Premiere Pro here and you wanna look for footage that you can put in the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag a few clips in. Obviously you're gonna use your own clips for this, but um, I'm just gonna drag a few clips in that we could have shuffling in the background here. So I'm just gonna highlight all these and replace them with After Effects composition. And then we're gonna copy them and we're gonna put them in here. All right, now that we have our three different clips in here, we're gonna drag them below the rotoscope clip. And then we're gonna go right to where the rotoscope clip ends and clicking on the new clips at the very end of them, like where this cuts off and aligns, we're gonna press Command Shift D again, and we're gonna cut these off and then click on them and hit delete. Now you kind of want to build a staircase with these. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So it's going to switch from like this one to this one to this one. You guys see how quickly that switches and you kind of get a similar effect as before. Super clean switching background. You can add some RSMB on it if you want. If you have that plugin, it'll just add that motion blur effect. But uh, if you do want to fix up laser dims, turn the feather up here and then the shift edge down and boom, that looks pretty good there guys. That's the first effect out of the way. And let's move into the next one here. All right, so for the next one, you guys can see this like, this trash can with the text on it like turns into a bus or transforms. Basically to do this, we're gonna be using an AI website. So I'm basically just gonna render this out uh, as a solid clip. Um, if you guys have your own footage to do this on, I recommend doing it on that. We're gonna press Control M. I'm gonna call it test here, hit save, and then export. Now we're gonna open up a website called Runway and we're gonna log in because it's completely free. I highly recommend you guys sign up. Now we're gonna do a video to video right here. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna upload our video clip right here. And honestly, you just have to mess around with this. I recommend doing a text prompt and you could just do a uh, turn into bus and then turn the style strength down or up. And you're gonna have to do it a couple of times to get it perfect. Now this is footage that's already been turned into AI. So it might look a little bit weird, but I guarantee you guys, if you do this on your actual footage and you mess around with it, you're gonna get some really cool and unique looks. So we're gonna hit generate now and it's gonna take a few minutes for it to load. It gives us something super strange like this, but I guarantee if you guys play with the style strength and if you go into advanced here and play with the weight and the consistency and the frame and everything, you will definitely have a unique look just mess around with the settings and that's how you can create something like that all right next we have this picture in picture two by two effect here there's a couple ways you can do this but my favorite way to do it i'll show you guys here so you guys can see the way it comes in you will have a little film wipe at the bottom and then it introduces this clip right here so basically to do that what we're going to be doing is we're going to go into our sequence here hit sequence settings and we're going to look at our frame size and then the horizontal right here which is the second one and we're going to divide this by two so the amount is 540 so keep that number in mind what you want to do now is you want to right click on this clip go down to nest hit OK, double click on the nest, go up into sequence here and change this second number to 540 here. Now that you have that, you could see it's like half the size. And if we go back in, if we go into effect controls here, you can move this one to the top. This already is like a super cool effect here because you have like his legs from a different scene. You want to do the exact same thing with this clip here or pretty much since the top one's there, you can just like rearrange it with this one. Now, when it comes to this little film wipe here, we're going to put that below and we'll just have that for a frame at the bottom 
and you guys can see it's pretty much the exact same effect there super clean super easy to do now they have black and white on the bottom you guys can achieve this by going into effects and typing tint and just dragging and dropping that on your layer and if you want to mess with like anything just go inside of exposure here and you can play with uh everything inside of the metric color there now this is pretty much the exact same thing but with three of them super self-explanatory all you have to do for this one is just divide the uh, sequence number here by three in your calculator and then just change it for each of them and line them up and it's super simple now next we have this face switching effect where his eyes are like in the center this one's uh super easy to do as well basically to explain it to you guys you basically just have to look for like a ton of clips like you can see here as well where it's his face shot if you're shooting the music video as well just get pictures of his face up close in a bunch of different scenes and scenarios with different lighting and you can just match them and make sure his eyes are in the exact same place uh since i didn't shoot this music video this might be a little bit hard to do from my end just lining everything up but you guys can see they have the exact same thing here and then this one here uh the classic combining two scenes into one now this is pretty simple to do you just have to look for two scenes that are like are pretty static so i think maybe we could do like this one here we'll try this one but i don't know if it'll work guaranteed no it's not gonna work all right so we'll do these two scenes right here so i'm gonna take it i'm gonna go into effect controls here and i'm gonna zoom it in and then move it to the side and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab our little mask pen tool right here free draw and we're going to cut out this area right here and then we're going to hit invert and then we're going to turn on mask feather and if we move this bottom clip to the side now and then zoom it up obviously you'll have a lot more control on your actual footage and then just click on your mask and then maybe we could feather this a little bit more Honestly, you're just going to have to play around with it, but this is the best way to do it, in my opinion. So we got a clean two-in-one effect here. And then to really make it blend in, I recommend playing with a color grade. So go inside your project, right-click, create a new item, hit adjustment layer, hit OK, and bring this in on top of your clips. And then if you go on Lumetri Color here, I recommend turning the contrast up. That really like hides it turn the exposure down and then the highlights up and there we have a super cool unique look you guys could see like there's this flash effect at the beginning there by going into effects and searching up uh, brightness and contrast and then just for the first frame let's keyframe it turn the brightness way up and the contrast up like that and then go to the next frame and then turn it down and then up a little bit and then just reset it to normal and you'll have something like that a little flicker in effect there and yeah guys that was the breakdown of how to edit like laser dim 700 if you guys enjoy videos like this and want to see more make sure to hit subscribe and if you guys are looking for easy editing packs to use that are drag and drop super fire super simple to use go check out my website over at tinytapes.ca you guys could use code 15 off to save yourself 15 percent off anything you want from the site i'll see you guys in the next video peace